Once you're finished with your model in SketchUp, go ahead and click on File. Then go ahead and select Export and click on 3D Model. And go ahead and name your model. And then click on Export. And go ahead and click OK. Exit out of your SketchUp. And then go ahead and find your file. And go ahead and copy your file over to somewhere else. In which case I'm going to put mine in, in a directory called Tutorial. Then go ahead and open up the directory. Then go ahead and right click on the file and go down to 7-zip and go down to extract here. Then go ahead and, and click run your NB converter program. And then you want to go to models and then select in which case mine is tutorial.dae. Go ahead and click on open. And go ahead and enter 300. Click on OK. Then go ahead and exit out of MB Convert. Let's go ahead and go to your Movie Storm directory and go into your add on directory and we're going to make a, a directory, whatever your uh, model is. I'm going to name mine Tutorial. And go ahead and go into the Tutorial directory and make a new directory called data and in that directory uh, name that props and in that directory the name of your prop And in, in that directory, you need to uh, name it textures. And in this directory, you want to go over here and go into image directory and go ahead and select all your images copy over to the texture directory then uh, under your texture directory, you want to go over to uh, models and you want to select this one, CMF, and then CSF, and then you want to 
select all these CRF files. And you want to copy them. Then you'll want to load up Movie Storm. And go ahead and click on Settings. Click on Advanced Features. And go ahead and click on Go to Monitors Workshop. Then you want to go into your props. And go down to wherever you named your model. There it is, tutorial. Then you want to right click templates, click on new template, and name your template. And click OK. And go ahead and click on the plus. Click on the name. Then you want to add your mesh. And then you want to add the material. You want to select all of these. As you can tell, your model is black right now. So go ahead and click on your first material. And you want to go down to right here, this line. And you want to keep the texture file name. But you want to erase from here to there. And let's go to the next one. As you can tell, there's our texture. Let's go to the next one. And the next one. There you go. You see all the textures now. Once you're satisfied with your model, 
go ahead and click on save and make sure you do this <laughs> that message pops up all you need to do is go up to here select your uh, model and then go ahead and click save there you go save template go ahead and click yes then you want to uh, click here and you want to select scalable and you can select any of these that you would like depending on what your uh, model is and then once you're satisfied oh also you want to add a tag then you can go ahead and save it then go ahead and click close and you want to log in to publish it click OK you can now publish add-on packs click yes then go ahead and publish requires a license to use go ahead and unclick it so that you can use it and go ahead and click on publish and it says done tutorial should now be used in movie storm click OK and then go ahead and exit out then go ahead and load up your movie storm again click on settings and there it is it's already check marked just make sure that it's check marked and go ahead and exit out of there go ahead and click on new movie and go ahead and click on empty set edit the set Go ahead and, and look for your uh, set, I mean your prop. <laughs> and here's my prop named Tutorial. I click on the prop. And there you go. as all its textures and I selected scalable so I can make it any size I uh, hope that you enjoyed the tutorial thanks for watching